Hi there, uh, thank you for checking out the LFE app. Uh, this is a tutorial video, so I'm going to show you how to actually use the LFE app inside the Wix environment. So you must have already, if you're watching this video, you're probably located on the demo app, uh, demo tab. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add LFE to site. The application, like any Wix application, is controlled through the app settings. You can this you can connect your LFE account to your Wix account here. Um, I just went ahead and I disconnected because I was signed with my account. And you can go ahead and connect with Facebook or you can register right over here and create a new username and, uh, and password. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to register. I'm going to enter my password. Once I'm signed in, the system will associate your login with uh, your Wix website, so you're not going to have to sign in ever again. Um, unless, of course, you built another site and then you would have to. So I provided it a store name. I input, input a store name. That's just something that appears here in the top. And uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to click on create a course. Now, the course creation wizard is a step-by-step -step tool. Um, and I'm going to create a course how to build an epic metal gate. And I'm going to say here this course includes videos, plans, and uh, pictures with materials cut lists and may much more and uh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna say this is a do it yourself section now this is gonna want me to go and upload a video and I recommend when you upload videos you can upload multiple videos at the same time and I recommend you go ahead and do all of that at once uh, so that you don't have to wait for it to load so do it before you go to sleep or when you're leaving work so that it runs overnight. Uh, those files are big files. They take a while to load. So now I'm going to go to the next step. And uh, in the chapter list, I'm going to say here that we're going to have a chapter called overall design. We're going to say the posts. We're going to say the hinges. We're going to say the cut list. We're going to say and maybe the cut list. I would like it to be before. And I'm going to say opener. And I don't know what other topics we would have in the content. So now that we've got the design, we've got the course design, we've got the chapter list set up, we can go to the chapter content and we can add different videos that we have already loaded to the system to the particular chapters. One thing that is really beautiful about Wix and LFE and Wix is that it um, does the work as you're working. So as you're putting new videos and new titles and uh, stuff of that nature, it actually updates that here. Let's see that again. So this is overall design. We're going to say the weight considerations for our epic gate. Uh, how to calculate your weight and momentum in your epic driveway gate. Now, another thing to, to keep in mind here is that there is an option um, to enable it for public viewing. And so if it's open for public viewing, anybody can come in and watch that particular video in that particular chapter. So on the left hand side, you see this is updated here. So we got the chapter here and each chapter can have multiple videos. Now we're not only limited to videos, we can also have documents and we can have links. There's going to be more to come, but today this is the scope of what we can do. So you can add a document and it can be a PDF, can be a PowerPoint can be anything you like. The next step is of course to go to the course visuals and I'm going to select the course visual here for my epic gate. I'm going to select one of the pictures here that uh, 
that uh, I have. And here I actually happen to have a picture of an epic gate and I'm going to upload it. And this shows our gate. Then I'm going to have to browse for a promo video. Promo video is probably one of the most important things for your course. I recommend doing it last when you're making your videos. This way you're just going to have more material to cut from. This is what's going to get your user to make the buy decision. Then we have to input some metadata that's going to make it easier for Google to index it. Uh, there's going to be some information about yourself and if you're logged in with Facebook it's going to automatically pull your profile picture. And uh, then we input the price and we're going to call it $125 or $12 or whatever is appropriate for your content. And voila, we're ready to publish. So we're going to say this, set this to published. Now, after you've published it, you can preview your course page. And this shows like what, it, what it's going to look like to an actual learner. Some of the features of the, uh, of the, um, of the learners page is that there is a discussion. And of course, you can see what other learners are taking this page. In the discussion section, we have implemented, I'm sorry about that. I must have had a shortcut and closed tab. In the discussion section, we can uh, use hashtags and at signs. So I can tag my friend and say, I have a question about hashtag and very uh, well widely accepted format gate and so this actually creates a topic and then I can click on gate and I can see all the discussion feeds that had the word gate in them and when my friend logs into the system next time he is also gonna see a not notification in the top right corner saying that somebody mentioned him in the discussion he's gonna be able to go and answer my question so We've covered the uh, course creation aspect of this so far. Now I'd like to um, take you through the LFE dashboard and see what kind of information and stuff you can do there. In the dashboard, the first screen is how many courses you have, how many stores you have. And a store essentially equals to how many websites are you selling your courses. There you're going to see reviews that your users have posted and the sales. In the content tab, it's, uh, you can access all of your courses and you can also access the video manager, which is the exact same thing that you can, you can do um, in, um, in, uh, in the wizard. We have two interfaces to work with the courses. One is the wizard, which you experienced in the Wix environment. Or you can also use our property editor. And uh, sometimes this can be a little faster. When you are inside the course, you can create coupons um for that particular course and uh, we've actually updated this interface significantly in the coming version but right now you can create coupon and incent your users to make the purchase decisions lastly and not least is we have the store list here and the store list my store management tab allows you to select which courses are going to be published in your store um, you can add your own courses or you can add other people's courses and earn a commission on that. Lastly, with uh, Wix, we've got this incredible environment that allows uh, very easy drag and drop creation. But if you've got another website where you want to feature your courses, you can create another web store populated with your courses, create an embed code and drop it in um, your other platforms. So it's less convenient, but it's still possible. And then you have reports. I hope the session's been helpful. 
and uh, we'll get you up and running quick uh, with LFE. If you have any problems or concerns, please mail me or contact me and we're going to provide the contact information at the end of the video. Thank you very much and have a nice day.